outside neighborhood associations are plotting their future, and it is with a plan to attract businesses, take advantage of rapid transit, and create an overall better living environment. RTV6's Derek Thomas has a look at that plan. It says right here on the quality of life plan summary, we're going to make a difference. It's our turn. It's our time. Representatives from eight neighborhood organizations met for a year and a half, 15 times to put the plan together. It's not someone telling us what we need to do. It's us telling us what we need to do and how to achieve that plan or how to achieve that goal and growing from there. One of the ways to grow is by having convenient public transportation, most notably the red line to connect the south side with all the other parts of town. We're excited about the possibility of the red line coming down Shelby Street. That's one thing that has a lot of neighbors excited. We think that that's uh, an investment that could bring uh, spur a lot of other investment along that commercial corridor. Along that corridor, some businesses have closed. Some properties are vacant. New businesses are being courted. And we hope that the quality of life plan is a way to, um, for the community to have a voice in what types of businesses come in so that they're really resident supporting businesses and not businesses for people who don't live here. Pin and Pink Vintage, located at 2435 South Shelby, is a relatively new shop that feels good about the future. I make handmade books, and I had been selling them other places, and so when the opportunity came up for me to open my own shop, I wanted it to be in this neighborhood and be a part of the businesses that are coming and the way the area is growing. Another goal is to take advantage of all that Garfield Park offers, to be able to connect to the venue via sidewalks and on bicycles so residents don't have to drive there. There may be some adjustments to the plan along the way. Flexibility is the key. Derek Thomas, RTV6.